name is, my name is Sarah Sheik, and I am actually coming live on Saturday instead of Friday. Um, there's actually quite a funny story about what happened last night. It was quite crazy. So if you are catching this live, definitely give a like and thumbs up. And if you are on YouTube um, or if you are not on YouTube, head over to YouTube and subscribe on my YouTube channel so that you can get more lives and more cool card readings and just hear about all the cool things that I've been learning about. Um, so the reason that I wasn't live yesterday on Friday was because right when I left work, so you probably have seen if you've been on my if you've been on my profile at all, that I drive a Jeep and I really, really, really love my Jeep Gladiator. I think it is amazing and I I really like it. And anyway, something crazy happened. I have been asking the universe to basically like test me and to send me things um, just because I am ready to evolve and I am just proving that I'm ready to evolve. So uh, as I was sitting in the parking lot yesterday, this really weird thing happened. I don't even know what it was and it's gone now. Um, but what ended up happening, I just felt this shift in the car and it was in park. I hadn't even left. All I was doing was I was actually sitting there texting my husband because we were going to um, hit up Costco. I love doing Costco. Um, so we were going to do a Costco run. And so I was just texting him to see if he was done with work yet. And all of a sudden, this error came on and it said that, that the traction control was off. And I was like, well, that's really weird because um, I hadn't even switched it out of four-wheel drive. I hadn't done anything other than turn the vehicle on. And then I was like, okay, so I did a couple of troubleshooting things. I shut it off. I turned it on and I was like, I called him and I started to drive and I was like, oh, it's kind of weird. It was, it just wasn't acting normal. Um, it just, I could just tell, I could just feel that it was a little bit off. So what ended up happening is I pulled into basically the parking lot right next door to my school. We have a community center right next door. So I pulled into their parking lot and I waited for my husband to come and we did some more troubleshooting and we, um, I don't know, and things didn't really seem to change, but it seemed to be driving okay. Then after being shut off for a little bit, it seemed to be driving okay. So we were like, well, let's just go because we got to get it home because the dealership wouldn't have any openings on a Friday afternoon at 4.30, 5 o'clock by that time. I mean, it was about 5 o'clock by then. So we were like, okay, we just got to get it home anyway. And then we can go from there because my hubby's pretty great about troubleshooting and um, being able to fix and do things like that. So, so we drove to Costco and we went in, did our shopping and the funny thing was, was as soon as we were done doing our shopping and on our way home, everything was totally back to normal. So it was kind of a weird experience, but with everything happening and all the troubleshooting and then my husband looking at it too, when we got home a little bit, it just ended up being really late and I knew it was going to be a really late night. And so I decided to do the card reading today because I wanted to be a little bit fresher and um, just better for you guys. And instead of doing it after just dealing with that, but I do want to say that I feel like I handled this situation in a very good way, and we were able to have a very good conversation about the steps that I would take if he weren't around in order to help and come problem solve with me. Um, and so it was something that was a very 
much of a blessing to have happened, but we're still going to be able, we're still going to make an appointment, take it in, just make sure that everything is good. Um, but that was the story about last night and why it got so busy and so late for me. And so instead of just doing a quick run and coming home, it just ended up being a, a lot more intense. <laughs> and I just wanted to share the why and what, what was going on. So I know on Wednesday, I told you that one of my favorite cards were the native spirit cards. And so I wanted to do a reading for you guys today uh, with those cards. I thought it was the perfect day for it. So I want you to close your eyes, take a deep breath, and feel in. I have three cards for you today. You may only feel aligned with one card. You may feel aligned with multiple cards. And that's okay. But just take a deep breath and visualize in your mind one, two, or three. And see which one just kind of stands out to you. Okay. Do you have it? All right, and if you don't and you are watching the replay, just pause if you need a couple more minutes That's or a couple more seconds, that's fine. All right, let's flip over card one. Ooh, walking in beauty. I love that I get to show you guys more of these cards. They're so pretty. Okay, so walking in beauty. I see a lot of the desert sun and it's like a sunrise so like new beginnings coming and I see the sun's rays just shining out from the card this one is definitely a lot of light and it is reminding me to just find the beauty in all of the things all of the little things it it might be a little note from your child that looks like a scribble, but just find the beauty in that. Um, and let's read what it says. I actually did not even flip these over yet. I So I do not have them marked in here. So we are doing this together. Oh, walking in beauty. So I'm going to let you see it while I read it. Get it in focus. There we go. Radiant beauty surrounds you. You, you're beautiful inside and out. No matter what your age, your grace is growing. Being in balance. As you, sorry, let me just see. Your grace is growing. Being in balance. As you walk in beauty and feel great gratitude for it, your life will be filled with immense splendor. Whenever you can, spend time in the natural, wild spaces. As you see and hear and feel beauty around you, your own beauty will grow. I love that. Okay, card two. If you were aligned with card two, then this next one is for you. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. So we had one that was really red colors and oranges and like a sunrise. And now this one is called the spirit of water. And oh my goodness, I'm just really feeling a lot of healing energy, like the water just cleansing over you. And I don't know if I've ever even actually had this card, but it actually, it feels like the water is just, the waves are coming up to go cleanse all the water and just cleanse over your aura. That's what this card is feeling, or that's kind of the vibes that I'm getting from this one. So let's just see. Spirit of Water. Got it. All right. I will hold it up so you can see while I read it. It says, trust your intuition. Know that you're on the right path. Take time to nurture yourself. Allow your inner child free reign. Believe in your dreams. Don't stifle your emotions. Trust the messages they're giving you. Purify and cleanse yourself and your home. Healing is on its way. Emotional healing is expanding within you. 
I love it. Two very different vibes as we're going through this card reading. Okay, let's see what card number three is. If you chose card number three, here's your card. Ooh, this one reminds me of Minnesota right now. Of It's called the Spirit Keeper of the North. And what it's actually reminding me of is to, uh, to lean into that ebb time when you're when you are taking that time to rest and to recharge yourself because in the seasons the the north has that winter season to really rest and recharge and to build up for great things coming into your life so let's see what the card says let's find it Spirit Keeper of the Spirit Keeper of the North. There we go. It says take time for contemplation. Turn within. Connect with your ancestors. Incubate ideas. Meditate. Mend relationships. Watch your dreams. The answers are inside you, waiting to be heard. Stay warm. Create dreams for your future. Repair whatever is broken in your home and your life. Forgive those people and situations that you've been dragging around with for a while. So this one's definitely about looking within, about taking that time, that reflection. And winter is such a great time to do that. This is like the perfect card for right now. All right. So those are your three cards. And I hope that they are giving you some insight into something that you can reflect on for the weekend and something that you can just hold dear. And I hope you all have a blessed weekend and I will see you um, next week. Have an amazing day.